I had always been interested in letterpress. I loved the way that the blocks would press into the paper and the texture that it made is something that you can't get with digital printing. It's just not the same effect. When you're actually printing it yourself, you have every ounce of control. The resources available to us here in Dallas are tremendous and being able to have an opportunity to explore letterpress and get my hands into it, I took it. So one of the things I love about our program being fairly small is that you can truly get one-on-one -on -one time with our instructors. They're almost always available for office hours. They make sure that they're there for you if you need them. Not every professor cares as much about your success as the ones that we have here. I think I was in my third class with Casey and I knew that I had a love for typography and I asked him if he would be my thesis advisor. So we came up with the idea of designing a typeface. I started with sketches and I knew that I wanted to base it off of historical wood type. So I looked at a lot of typefaces from that era to gain inspiration. And from there I just started sketching out ideas of what I wanted it to look like. And so once I kind of figured out the first letter, it was a little bit easier to figure out how the rest of the typeface was going to look and then made a road map to design it. Casey certainly handled a lot more of the machine work, but he taught me how to do the CAD programming, how to tell the computer which parts are raised up and which parts are low, which parts get cut out and which parts just need to be a little rounded. So that was a learning process with it too, is figuring out how you're taking something digital and when you're actually making it three-dimensional, how is the router going to handle that and how is it actually going to be carved and what are the problems with that. It took hours upon hours of sketching and drawing and taking it into the computer, but the final product was more than I imagined it could be. So hopefully they'll be using my typeface Stella for years to come at our school and hopefully I'll see it in design pieces as I'm looking for inspiration in the design world. Once you start with letterpress, it's something that you never want to stop doing. Once you've kind of dipped your hands in, you don't get the ink off.